Hello! Welcome to my video. I'm Tentabat, a not safe for work artist, but that's besides the point, because today I'll be trying my hand at designing Fakemon, or rather, fake Pokemon. Not just any Fakemon, but Fakemon made from emojis. I asked Twitter to give me two to three emojis to make Fakemon from. First off, I'm making a Fakemon line from Kersing's tweet. He gave me muscle arm, boar, and lipstick stain emoji. Well, here it goes. First off, I started with silhouettes, something I learned from character design class. It helps me figure out what works and what seems to be interesting without seeing the details yet. As you may notice, I have a lot of reference pictures up or to help me with ideas and such. I also have a reference of Ken Sugimori's artwork up for later on when I try to shade these designs. Anyways, with the silhouettes, I played with the idea of quadruped and biped designs until I found something I liked to start doing the rough sketches of. First, I started off with the quadruped design, made it front heavy so I could draw the big arms to it. And now that I draw in the first sketch, I draw, drew a second sketch to help me refine my ideas. Again, gotta give big arms. Now, I had something that I liked, but I wanted to try other ideas with the biped designs to see what else I could like. Again, redo that sketch to see if I can make it even better. Or if new ideas pop up. Looking back at this rough sketch now, I really like how scruffy it looks and the eye shape of it. I even refined the second sketch even more. But ended up deciding on the quadruped design. Because I feel like an anthro design would be too, too obvious for me as a furry. Now here I started making silhouettes of the pre-evolution to this fake mon. And here's the rough sketch. Just a cute little mud bait. Then I wanted a third evolution to this line, but this time it will be a male exclusive line, as the first design will be a female exclusive. Kind of like with Needle Queen and Needle King, but with the same base form. Went with the domestic farm pig idea for the inspiration. Almost went with a psychic type Pokemon because of the swirly tail, but discarded that idea for a normal type. Wanted to use a bottom heavy lopsided shape as opposed to the female shape. And of course, gave it smaller front hooves. Now for lining and refining. Before I started the lines, I turned down the opacity of the sketch and turned it blue so I could see what are my lines. Uh, I gave the boar a heart shaped snout, tusks, and a resemblance to lipstick. I also gave it a ground rocky pattern on the ridge of her nose because I imagine her typing is ground slash rock. Also gave her rocks under her neck to resemble jewelry. Made sure to give her strong arms. Can't forget that. And gave her a little tail. And here I was just thickening up the line weight and adding subtle shadows to give it more depth. Now that I was satisfied with the lines, I filled in the area I wanted to color and put a folder clip to it so the colors won't come out. I stuck with earthy colors because of the ground rock type. Added some pinks and reds because of the lipstick emoji. Removed the lipstick line art because I thought it stood out too much. 
then used that same red for the markings on her back. I wanted the red to stand out, so I ended up adding a darker gradient on her back. Then finally added some shadows and lighting to imitate Ken Sugimori's artwork style. I used a blendy watercolor brush. Adding the lighting was the fun part. Oh, and here I was coloring the line art so it looks like it all melds together. And finally I put a texture on top, on soft light. I'll see if I can find the texture I use and put it in the description down below. That's it for that Pokemon. now I'm gonna move on to the others. First I'm gonna work on the pre-evolution. Lining this was very easy considering it didn't have as much detail as a first Pokemon. Again, using the same coloring technique as before, filling out the whole area that I wanted to color and filling it in. Again, sticking with the earthy colors, but maybe a little lighter and saturated. Gave him blue eyes, so it's a nice contrast against his warm colors. Kept his marking simple, because his overall design is simple. And finally, once again, added shadows and lighting. Then colored the lines. And added texture. And put him over there with his mom while I work on the third evolution. Gave him a heart-shaped nose but upside down as a counter to the boar design. Also gave him big ears just cause it's cute. Small front hooves and big back hooves as a counter to the boar's design as well. And gave him overall round shapes. Adjusted his nose and that's it for his lines. At first gave him an overall pink color with cool color accents, but I ended up changing it because it, it, like his colors weren't that related to the first two designs. So I ended up adjusting his colors to be more warmer and orange, but I kept some pink accents to make him stand out a little against the rest. And once again added some shadows and lighting. And color the lines and added the texture. And here are the final results. I asked my Discord for name helping. Thanks to Kushink, Sheepy, and Maggot. Their help inspired these names. First Devo is named Squeeble, just a plain ground type. If it's a female at level 35, it can evolve into Borville, a ground rock type. And if it's a male at le level 35, it can evolve into Hamsum, a ground normal type. The tweet originally inspired Borville, but I wanted to expand this line and see what else I could create, and I'm really pleased with the whole line. I also love how cute Squeeble turned out to be. Now, next emoji Figmon prompt is from Sudden Hack Arts. They gave me a bear, fire, and a demon head emoji. As you can see, I got some reference pictures off to the side for inspiration. Just a teddy bear and some interesting looking bears. This time I forgo the silhouette sketches and went straight to the rough sketching. I really wanted to work with the neck fluff and fluffy limbs like a teddy bear, at least with the first Evo. As you can see, I was playing with the proportions of the limbs a lot. Ended up going with the third rough sketch. 
After deciding on that one, I went on and sketched a second Eva. Of course, I gave it a bigger neck fluff and gave it bigger claws. I also added horns because of the demon emoji. Even almost gave him a demon tail, but then I think it would have been too much. So I imagine the first evolution will be just a plain fire type and the second evolution will be a fire and dark type. I stopped at the second sketch because I think I got the gist of what I wanted. Now to lining and coloring these bear designs. Stuck with mostly round shapes for the first Evo, even though I added some triangles here and there. And added some paw pads, can't forget those! Could have added more tapered flames to the neck fur, but I was saving that for the second Evo. Now here I had some trouble with the second Evo's face, uh, like I was unsure how to stylize it I guess. I guess I was unsure which shapes to use for the muzzle. It doesn't really look that Pokemon-y looking. Well, I made sure to give him big bear claws to make him look menacing. And here I am messing with the face again. Just adding some thicker line weight to the claws so they stick out. Alright, now colors. I wanted to be sure my colors weren't similar to another Pokemon's. Which I think I was thinking of Lit Leo, but then I looked it up and realized the colors were nowhere similar. But even then, I uh, wanted to be careful. So I ended up with a light brown and a yellow orange flame. A little weird doing the lighting for this one because the flame would emit light. So I tried to experiment with that. And yeah, colored the lines and added texture once again. For the second Evo, I wanted to be sure the claws and paw pads were dark as coal. Didn't want the flame color to be too different from the first evolution, so I went with the more orange flame. Originally colored the body as just a darker version of the first Evo's colors, but I ended up wanting a darker color. And so the darker color would make the head stand out from the flame. Also airbrushed that orange flame color onto the body to make, make it look like the flame is glowing. And once again added the final touches. And here's the final results. Again, I got help from my Discord with the names. The first one I decided to call Flambear, and thanks to Bolt Chaser for naming the second Evo, which is Grizzferno. I thought it was a pretty accurate name. Now, Flambear is just a fire type, while Grizzferno is the fire dark type. Flambear can turn into Grizzferno at level 30. I felt good about Flambear's design. It's cute and round with some triangle shapes to contrast. So I feel Grizzferno's design could still use some adjusting, mostly in the face area, and maybe I could have played with the proportions a little more. Again, you're welcome to draw these designs or even redesign them. I'd love to see what you would do. Now on to the last Fakemon prompt. This one is from Sylveon Sylv, and they gave me snake, snowflake, and chocolate emoji. As you can see, I got a lot of snake references, mostly cobras and rattlesnakes. And I also got references of snake shit because of the chocolate emoji, but I, I left that one out. Didn't say I needed to use all the emojis, I asked for two to three. 
As you can see, I skipped the silhouette process already to skip ahead and do the rough sketches because I had a clear idea in my head. I wanted a cute small snake with some neck fluff. So I did some rough sketches to be sure what I wanted. And for the second sketch, you could see I tried to go for a hog nose shaped snout. Ended up going with the rounder face. I was just mostly figuring out how I wanted the face to look. Had to give it a small tongue sticking out too, because it's so cute. And ended up figuring out what I wanted in the fifth sketch. And now on to the second evolution. Of course I was going to make it a cobra. But gave it a fluffy hood because of the neck fluff in the first evolution. And gave it a cool rattler's tail. And I decided to make it coil around some snowballs, just like in the reference picture on the left. And gave it some sort of mullet, just so it looks fluffy on the hood. Again, as with first evolutions go, lining it was pretty easy because of the simple shapes. When lining the second evo, I decided to forego the tongue flicking and go with some fangs, just so that it looks cooler. Lining this design went pretty smoothly as well. I just wanted to be sure the tufts of fur looked alright. And here I wanted to give it a cool, some sort of icicle tail. Now that I think about it, I probably could have gave this design bigger fangs so that its fangs look more like an icicle. And here I'm just thickening up the line weight on its coils. And after the lines, I just get into coloring. I decided I wanted to do just a light blue because it's ice type. And besides that, I just gave it a warm cream color for neck fluff. I found the colors that I like pretty quickly. And when I went on to the second evolution, I just used the same blue I used on the first evolution and worked off of that and added a darker blue to its palette. With the fur coat, I just went with a more orange color. And again, it was pretty easy to find the colors I wanted to use. And here comes the shading and lighting. I gotta say, it was pretty fun using this watercolor brush. I don't usually use it often. It's pretty blendy and you could get cool gradients from it. Oh, I forgot to mention this when I was coloring the other ones, but I've been using just like a blue color for the shadows and a yellow color for the lighting. Though the lighting is on a different blending mode, which is add glow, and so it makes it look white. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. A lot of my lighting and shading techniques are like second nature to me. Anyways, here's the final results. This time I didn't need Discord's help for names because I already had names in mind. Here's Cold Blue, the first evolution because I was thinking of the phrase cold blooded and igloo. And named the second evo Cobra, just a mixture of words of the word cold and cobra. I really like how these designs came out, or maybe it's just because I'm partial to snakes. Again, if you want to draw these or redesign them, you're welcome to. And yeah, that's my Fakemon design process made from emojis. Again, thanks to Kersink, Sudden Hack Arts, and Sylveon Sil for your emoji tweets. If you liked this video, you could give it a like, but if you didn't, you could dislike it. If you'd like to see what I would do in the future, you could subscribe. Uh, it'll, it'll, help, it'll, it'll help me a great bit. I'd also like to give a special thanks to my Patreons, which are on screen right now. This video wouldn't be possible without them. 
I'd like to give a special thanks to my highest tier patrons, which are Lucy, Mainful, Seven Deaths, Boon HD, and Bolt Chaser. Thank you guys, you're the best. Anyways, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Now I'm off to draw some sexy Pokemon. <laughs>